Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are finishing up this hay wagon. You can see we got a new beam put in on the one side. Uh, those are 8 by 8 uh, beams, 16 feet long, and uh, the one had snapped. So we got a new one. And all we did was we went along and pulled the nails out of the decking on the one side. And then I was able to put the beam in from the one end and slide along. Jess was able to come along and lift the two by sixes. And we got her in there. Um, yeah. So everything's good and solid there now. I just pumped up the tires. Uh, I'm going to pop off the hubcaps. And check the bearings just make sure there's a little bit of grease in there um, do, do, do. I got the leg bolt or uh, leg screw I don't know how well you guys can see uh, leg screw put back in that one uh, this one here I've got to try and I think I'm going to take that off, uh, the, the tab on the other side, like this side here, um, is broke off. So I think I'm going to take this off, take that bolt out, take this off and weld on a ear, put a chunk of flat bar on there, drill hole so the bolt can go through. Um, it just keeps the beam from sliding over. I don't think it can actually really go anywhere per se. Uh, it's bolted. The one over there is bolted. Um, they're bolted kitty corner and then not kitty corner. That way when the wagon twists it doesn't uh, wreck stuff. But um, yeah so this one here uh, you know the 2 by 6s are nailed into it in that one so it's not going to be able to separate and slide over. Excuse me. Um, but I think I should probably still take that off and get that fixed up. Which isn't a big deal. Um, yeah, so I got to go along and there's grease fittings um, on the front here. Just because they turn. And like I said, pop the hubs off and grease the bearings. Otherwise, this wagon is ready to go. Um, the smaller wagon out there, I've got two brand new beams and enough decking, I think, to do about half of it. I still got to go and get the rest of the decking. Uh, so I got the truck to go and get that. Plus, I think I got to go to the dump today or tomorrow. So I got to go get a tipping fee. All right, guys. So we got that tire off. Now, looking at everything. in good shape on this tire anyway so I'm gonna get my grease gun so I'm gonna get a little bit of grease back into that back bearing I'm not gonna pop the uh, that back seal off I don't need to I don't want to get into all that anyway okay so that looks good Grab this bearing here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but anyway, so there's a tapered bearing on the back and the front. Tapered roller bearing. Now I'm just gonna pack this bearing. Just trying to get some grease in my left hand. So you just get a nice gob like that. Then you just take your bearing. And you just go around. You can see how the grease is squeezing up through the rollers. 
So you want these nuts, uh, you want them snug but not super tight. Um, because then it'll put too much friction on the bearing. Uh, so you do want them a little bit snug, but like I said, you don't want to torque on them or anything crazy. And make sure everything's seated in there good. You don't want it too tight, because what happens if you tighten that nut, you can tighten that nut to the point where your tire will actually not turn. And away we're done, boys. Okay, so that wheel's done. Do the other front wheel, two back wheels. And this wagon is set for the 2019 hang season. All right, guys, so this is the bracket that I was showing you up underneath there that kind of holds that beam uh, from sliding over. And uh, this is the broken piece. So I think it supposed to go something like that sorry something like that um, so I'm gonna just weld that back together and hopefully it'll fit back on the uh, metal beam underneath the other option would be to cut it off square here and then um, redrill the holes on the new piece and weld it here but seems how that it's not I don't think this is a super big issue I'm going to just clean that up and weld it all right guys Brand new pair of gloves, oh my goodness. These puppies were on sale. Obviously at home hardware. For like three bucks. There goes some boys, getting ready to cut some hay. They already hauled the rake out. There they're going with the old self propelled. Getting the shot for my movie. Alright, sorry, back. My battery died. Trying to get this done, trying to make a movie. Next thing you know, you look up. And you're not even recording. All for the sake of YouTube. Anyway, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I can hold it just perfect, but nobody's here to weld it for me. So that makes it a little bit more trickier. Dang, nabbit! Uh, Get! I was just talking to myself. I'm not in trouble there, girl. Sally's stuck in the well! Okay, go! Before you go blind! Okay, I'm gonna have to weld a piece here. Or, uh, grind a piece off. Oh. Oh. 
dog's already retarded. I don't want a dumb dog. Or a blind dog and a dumb dog. You know what I mean? Okay. Now we should have contact. If there's any welders watching this video, I apologize in advance. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles. If I was... Yeah. My apologies. It gets the job done. All of a sudden I hammer and she falls apart. <laughs> Obviously, you can see that's not 90 degrees, and I'm not sure if it actually overly has to be. But you can see that big old gap that was here filled that up. I think she turned out not too bad. Hopefully, she'll fit on there. Boys, it's beautiful. All right, so now I just gotta go and see if it'll fit. Let that cool down actually a little bit. How about we don't put it on a cardboard box? <laughs> 